One of the advantages of a view camera is instead of depending on depth of field to carry focus, we can go ahead and change our plane of focus to carry focus. So if I had a, a plane like the front of this cereal box, if I wanted to make it at this angle, I could carry the same plane throughout the angle. If I wanted to make it at this angle I could, or this angle, I could. With a traditional camera, you'd have to focus on one point and let depth of field carry forward or back. So in this exercise, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take a picture wide open. That means the most open aperture we have. We're going to put the box at an angle, and we're going to manipulate the plane of focus to capture all four corners of the box. That's called shine blue. Okay, in terms of lighting, the only requirement we have in this particular project is that we get the light side of the box against a dark panel in the background and the dark panel of the box against something light in the background. I don't have a, a, a requirement in terms of shadow detail on this. It's not important. What is important that is we capture all four corners of the box tack sharp and we have zero depth of field. That means we will shoot with no depth of field. We will shoot as wide open as our lens will allow. The law of shine flute that's going to allow us to capture this plane perfectly says that this plane that we're trying to capture, the focus plane, is going to intersect the film plane someplace out here. That, those two planes divided by two will be the lens plane. So that means the lens plane will be someplace in this angle. It's always good to kind of rough it in to begin with and kind of start where you think the lens plane is going to be. Again, the law says that this plane will intersect the film plane divided by two will be the lens plane. The great part about that is a great place to start, but it won't actually help us focusing the camera. Okay, so we can only use what we know about shine flute to get an approximation on the focus. Well, we do know a couple of other things. We know as the subject gets closer to us, as we focus the camera, the bellows will actually get bigger. It'll actually get longer. As the subject gets further away, the bellows will actually get smaller. As I'm trying to adjust my plane of focus to match the plane of the box, I need to use a tilt for the vertical plane, and I need to apply a swing for the horizontal plane. When I'm adjusting it, I have to remember the left side of the box relates to the left side of the lens board, the right side of the box relates to the right side of the lens board, the top of the box relates to the top of the lens board, and the bottom of the box relates to the bottom of the lens board. So again, tilt for vertical axis, swing for horizontal axis. Before you do any product shots, probably not a bad idea to level out your camera. I'm not worried about the shape of this box, but I do want to make sure it's going up and down. So I'm going to stick a torpedo level on the top of my camera and just make sure that we're level before we start. So again, you know, the, um, the built-in levels usually aren't very accurate, so go ahead and grab yourself a $2 torpedo level. Also, we're going to do critical focus on this, so you're going to need a loop of some sort, some kind of magnifying system. If you're using a wide-angle lens or something, you just get yourself a $1 pair of reading glasses at Walmart, that will work too. But something to help your focusing out will probably be, probably be beneficial in this case. So when we're adjusting our swing, that's the horizontal axis of our plane of focus, I have to pick one side or the other as my starting point. In this case, because I can recognize the Kroger corner, the K corner, I'm going to use that as my starting point, and I'm just going to adjust my swing over to the other side of opposite the Kroger corner. So I focus on the K corner, that first corner, and then I'm going to focus on the other corner. When I focus on the other corner, I want to pay attention as my bellows is getting bigger or smaller. In this case, my bellows was getting bigger. Since my bellows was getting bigger, I can tell you that part of my lens board that relates to that part of the picture is too close. So I'm going to have to swing away. So when I swing away, I'm not really positive how much to swing away, and it really doesn't make any difference because I'm going to start again by focusing on that first corner as my home place. So again, I'm going to focus on that first corner. And I'm going to pay attention now when I focus on the second corner as my bellows gets bigger or smaller. As I focus on the second corner, I see my bellows are still getting bigger. That means the side of the lens board that relates to that side is still too close, so I'm going to swing away some more. Focus on the first corner. Focus on the second corner. Still getting bigger, but just very slightly. I'm going to swing away some more. Focus on the first corner. Focus on the second corner. Guess what? They're both tack sharp. That means my swing is now perfectly adjusted. Okay, I've already adjusted my swing plane, so my swing is fine. My tilt's not adjusted at all. With my tilt, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pick a spot on the bottom of the box and the top of the box to adjust my tilt. I'm going to start with the bottom of the box, focus on that, and then adjust for the top. So the bottom of the box would be right here. I'm going to focus on that, and then I'm going to pay attention when I focus on the top of the box whether or not my bellows gets bigger or smaller. When I focus on the top of the box, my bellows got smaller. That means the top of my lens board is too far away, so I'm going to tilt forward. Again, repeat the process. Focus on the bottom of the box, and then focus on the top. 
When I focus on the top this time, I'm pulling back. My bellows is getting bigger, which means I just tilted a little too much. My bellows is getting bigger. The top of my lens board is now too close. So I have to tilt back a little bit. Again, focus on the bottom of the box. Focus on the top. Now the top's perfect. They're both in the same plane. So now I'll just double check all my planes and I'm ready to shoot.